Let's talk about your signature guitar. This is the JB, yeah. right? The Washburn JB. It is. You can no longer get it. Uh, I think I forgot to get a hit record or something. <laughs> something like that happened. But this this poor thing has been through hell. Um, I've had it since, gosh, I think the Dangerous Tour. Wow. Dangerous or History. Maybe it was History. Yeah. Um, it's made out of swamp ash, very light. That's the number one thing I want out of a guitar is to not end up at the chiropractor's office. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, good call. Yeah, and I love it. It's They sent it to me, and I was kind of not digging the way it looked before I put my hands on it because I was playing strats before that. Right. But something about once I put it on, it was like, okay, there's something going on here. And I, I really dig it, the way it fits my body, the way it sounds, everything. Um, I've been with Seymour Duncan for many years. And I have a JB Jr. here and Duck Buckers to try to get that more stratty kind of vibe. Uh, this is pretty special. This is Velcro for when I run my multimedia show, I put an Apple remote on here and I can start and stop the films. Perfect. And also it makes guitar players go, there's something new out there that I don't know what it is <laughs> and I must need it because all the sound comes from that thing, an Apple remote. <laughs> Um, I had all kinds of gadgets done over the years. When I joined Jeff Beck, I added uh, my first MIDI pickup, which this is not that. We'll get to that in a minute. And I, I like that the sound of the start stop. Yeah, the kill switch. So I added that, but the airlines over the years have damaged this so much that oh, okay, that's only working part time. So I had a lot of these just disengaged. And it's basically a five way switch. I can split the pickup. Uh, volume tone, that's it. Uh, when I had the Roland synth, that, that was a volume control for that, but that's disengaged and that chose synth or not. That's history. And then all these autographs. Um, well, I, I'll start with, when I, on the last Michael Jackson tour, we went to South Africa and I just love African music, African art. So I smoked up a credit card getting African art and had Pamelina, who was a fantastic artist who's done, um, gosh, whenever I have money, I have her do jackets and paintings and all kinds of things. And I had her paint several of my guitars as well it, as my it, first two album covers. Is she New York based? Uh, no, LA. Okay. Yeah, I think it's pamelina.com. Okay, she, good, good it, plug. It used to be a porn site, but she bought it out <laughs> so she could have her name back. <laughs> That's where I recognize that <laughs> right? site. Yeah. A whole different girl. Different <laughs> yeah. talents yeah. also. Talented, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um... Let's see, what else? The real Floyd, because I found over the years that the, the licensed Floyds are very manky in their, the quality of their metals. Oh. It makes a big difference, uh, tuning, coming back in tune. So I want to have the, the most high grade metals I can get. Yeah. And I, I put, <laughs> if you want to get detailed, I put the tape on it so I know it's that bar and not the other bar without the tape. Oh, it's, makes sense, yeah. Well, it does to me. Uh, Fishman Triple Play, which I'll get into in a hot minute. This has replaced the Roland synth and it kicks Roland's ass. I, I say that out loud. Because <laughs> when, when, when I was with Jeff Beck, I used the Roland synth system that had the GK2 pickup that went to a big fat 13 pin cable that went to a MIDI converter that went to sounds. Right. And it was a, a lot. Yeah. Uh, that was three years, right? Were you, uh, yeah. 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 That was so cool because you have your thing and he has his thing and they're so different. They work so well together. It was cool, man. I really enjoyed yeah. that. I mean, he was my hero since I was a teenager. So yeah, step right. on stage with him is not anything I expected, but something I thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah. It was just awesome. Yeah. So anyway, this is completely replaced in the last year. I just gave up on MIDI after that because I didn't want to carry all that crap around myself right. if I'm going to be jumping on a plane and yeah. going somewhere in the world. Now, this is a transmitter, the receiver is just a USB dongle, and all my sounds are in a MacBook Air. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So you can carry it in a briefcase and yeah. be done with it. Yeah, and great. I do because I need a computer everywhere I go anyway because I do a multimedia show and trigger films. And um, let me jump into some sounds here. Oh, cool. Uh, one of the tunes I'm doing in in the Fishman demo is Star Cycle. Wait, let's take that down. There's so many things at my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, see, see how <coughs> it bends and responds. Right. Oh, 
Cut that, please. <laughs>